another wonderful Amici music program here at St. Giles. We are so thankful uh, to Reverend Walton and Stuart and everybody here uh, for helping make this uh, our real home here in Asheville. We've been here uh, almost every month lately and uh, we hope to continue in 2024. I'll let you know about some upcoming uh, programs uh, at the beginning of the second half. Uh, but this is a very fun four-hand holiday program. Uh, you might have seen it before, but uh, it works every time. And it's such a wonderful amount of music and uh, arrangements of tunes that uh, are done in a really wonderful way by uh, several different arrangers. And then we finish with a really virtuoso version of the Nutcracker Suite, uh, which hopefully you can all see the TV, because it's a complete choreography ballet for the fingers as we're playing in between each other's fingers uh, for much of that. Um, uh, on the piano with me, a wonderful colleague who's come over from Baltimore, Mr. Daniel Lau. You can read about him in the back. <laughs> Dan and I went to Peabody together to get our, our masters and doctorates uh, many years ago. Uh, he has stayed in Baltimore. He's now the chair of the music department at Washington Adventist University. Uh, and uh, it's been wonderful to reconnect and uh, play these concerts with him. Both of us have uh, uh, seniors in high school, daughters who are in the whole college search and stressed out. So it's nice to get away from that and uh, have a little time uh, here at Asheville. Um, so we're going to begin with a set of uh, uh, pieces about the holiday. I think you'll recognize all of these pieces. The first is Sleigh Ride, uh, written by the wonderful uh, light orchestral composer Leroy Anderson. Uh, he was born in 1908. He went to Harvard University uh, and got his PhD in German and Scandinavian languages. He actually spoke 11 languages fluently. Uh, and during World War II, he was stationed in Iceland uh, as a translator. Uh, while he was there, he actually composed his first orchestral work. Uh, you might remember it was called The Syncopated Clock from 1945. It was a pretty big hit. Uh, he followed that up a few years later with Blue Tango, which became the first instrumental recording to ever sell over a million copies. A very popular piece. Sleigh Ride, he actually wrote uh, during a, a long heat wave in the summer of 1948. Uh, he was dreaming about snow uh, and wrote this uh, wonderful work. Uh, it was then premiered by the, the Boston Pops and Arthur Fiedler, who was a big supporter of Leroy Anderson. Um, the biographer of us, uh, um, Leroy Anderson, his name is Steve Metcalf, wrote in his book, Sleigh Ride perhaps has been performed and recorded by a wider array of musical artists than any other piece in the history of Western music. He then has about three pages of all the various uh, performers and artists who have done this. They include the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, the Three Tenors, the Spice Girls, uh, Bela Fleck, and my favorite, the Muppets, did a real good version of Sleigh Ride. <laughs> Uh, we then move to uh, probably the most uh, famous and the best known of all of the uh, holiday songs, White Christmas, uh, written by the great Irving Berlin, one of our finest songwriters who wrote over a thousand songs and lived to be a hundred years old while doing it. Um, he actually wrote this piece also in uh, kind of a hot place in La Quinta, California uh, in uh, 1941. Uh, and uh, Irving Berlin, even though he wrote so many songs, actually did not know how to write or read music. He had the songs in his head but he had to have other people get the songs out of his head onto paper. Uh, and uh, so he would sometimes in the middle of the night have these great ideas for songs. And apparently this one came to him uh, during the middle of the night while he was staying somewhere. He ran up to his secretary's room uh, and apparently said to him, grab your pen and take down this song. I just wrote the best song I've ever written. Heck, I think I just wrote the best song that anybody's ever written. Uh, <laughs> And he was not far from the truth. It's premiered uh, with uh, Bing Crosby uh, debuting it on Christmas Day, 1941, uh, which was uh, sort of uh, right after Pearl Harbor, and it's become really part of our American fabric. Uh, now, of course, one of the fascinating things, Irving Berlin was a Jewish composer, uh, and there were many Jewish composers who uh, wrote a lot of Christmas songs. Um, and in fact, uh, Irving Berlin also wrote Easter Parade. Uh, and uh, there's a wonderful quote by Philip Roth, uh, the Jewish writer, who said, uh, Jewish, uh, uh, Berlin, Berlin's Easter Parade and White Christmas, it's Jewish genius on a par with the Ten Commandments. <laughs> God gave Moses the Ten Commandments and then he gave to Irving Berlin Easter Parade and White Christmas. The two holidays that celebrate the divinity of Christ and what does he do? Easter he turns into a fashion show and Christmas into a holiday about snow. He turns their religion into schlock. 
But nicely, so nicely that the goyim don't even know what hit them. They love it. And it's such a beautiful song. We have a great arrangement of it. Uh, really just puts you in that holiday mood. And we will finish with uh, Jingle Bells, uh, which was actually written in 1850 by a guy named James Lord Pierpont in Medford, Massachusetts at the Simpson Tavern. Now, Medford was the home of sleigh races that used to happen every week during the winters there. Uh, and uh, this uh, guy sort of loved writing about these races, wrote this great song. Uh, the other interesting fact about Jingle Bells, it was the first song ever broadcast from space. Uh, in December of 1965, Gemini 6 astronauts Tom Stafford and Wally Shira sent this report to Mission Control. We have an object. It looks like a satellite going from north to south, probably in polar orbit. I see a command module and eight smaller modules in front. The pilot of the command module is wearing a red suit. They then took out their harmonica and sleigh bells and sang jingle bells for all to hear. So enjoy these first three songs. <laughs> 